Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Despite outcry and several protests, roughly 85% of security guards have signed new employment contracts with security companies. The Labour Minister gave the update in Parliament today, adding that his ministry has not received any formal complaints about rights being violated. But his opposition counterpart has fired back, arguing that some of the contracts are clearly in breach of employment laws. Andrea Chisholm has details. Since the court ruled that as of April 1, security guards are employees and not independent contractors, there has been turmoil in the sector which employs roughly 25,000 people. In spite of the concerns, 85% have already signed their new contracts. What is happening currently is that there is talk broadly being disseminated about the rights of security guards being violated. To date, there are no concrete reports presented to the minister or the ministry outlining the rights that have been violated. Opposition spokesperson on Labour, Dr. Angela Brownberg, says most security guards are not unionized and the industry has a history of exploitation. Some of the security companies, she argues, have issued one-year contracts while stipulating a six-month probationary period for guards with the previous years of service to the same company. Every contract I have seen has a clause that says, don't talk to me about nothing to do with anything outside of this contract. Which means that the 20 years, 15 years, all of that, don't talk to forget it that's what it means there are also concerns about overtime payment after security guards complete their 40-hour work week when a company has a contract where only 40 hours is with company a the additional 20 hours are contracted to company b to avoid paying overtime that cannot be be good it cannot be useful it cannot be allowed to continue. Mr. Samuda stated that the Labour Ministry has dealt with 88 cases involving security guards who have been denied worker-related benefits. He reiterated that strong action will be taken against companies that breach labour standards. In a few weeks, the minister and his team will meet with the security companies and guards to resolve various disputes. I have gone one step further to ensure better regulations of the industrial security sector by appointing a committee led by Mrs. Helene Davis-White to establish a joint industrial council for the regulation of the industry and the protection of the security guards. Late as it is, it is something that is needed and it is true that a town hall discussions around it is going to be important. and. Uh, um, we welcome that as we look towards the protection of the rights of the workers. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News. Now, in the meantime.